Today, I'm at RAF Bryce Norton, the largest RAF station in the UK. Home to the RAF's tactical medical wing. Meet the flight medical team. And Sergeant Chris is part of this heroic crew. Chris, what is the tactical medical wing? So the tactical medical wing will provide medical support to personnel all around the world. This kind of medical care is really complex. How do you train for it? So we'll do a practical scenario on board a real aircraft, like we're going to do today. Can I have a look? Absolutely. Fantastic. This is the C-17. At about 53 metres long and wide, it's almost twice the size of a blue whale. This plane not only needs to carry everything from tanks to helicopters, troops to supplies, amazingly, it also doubles up as a hospital. So you can see behind me, they're building these stretcher stanchions to act almost as bunks for patients. But the remarkable thing is that it can support the most severely injured patients of all, people who need life support. It only takes 10 minutes to turn this plane into a hospital. We're in Nepal. It might not look much like Nepal, but that's where today's scenario is taking place. So some military personnel were on an expedition, there's been an earthquake, and they have different levels of injury. And they're being treated to get them ready and fit to fly. This casualty has two broken legs, but there are other patients with even more serious injuries, and they're whisked away to the plane. So Mary's had a head injury that she got in the earthquake, and so she's now fully stabilised. She's got a neck brace on to keep her spine stable, and she's got an oxygen mask. And the team are now putting on monitors so that she can be cared for in exactly the same way that she would be in a big hospital in the UK. It is totally remarkable. If this was a real situation, we'd now take off and head home with the casualties. So unlike the kind of aircraft that you may have been on, all the seats are along the side, and that creates space in the middle either for cargo or for patients. We are now at maximum altitude. You can go along with your business. During the flight, the medics keep the patient stable and safe. So because Mary's got a head injury and she may have other severe injuries, the team have put her in this amazing vacuum mattress, which is full of little polystyrene balls. They've sucked the air out of it, and now this is squeezing her, and partly it protects her from the effects of being in a bumpy aeroplane. It'll make her more comfortable and make her injuries less likely to get worse. How are you feeling, Mary? I'm all right, yeah. You're all right. Yeah. It's amazing that patients can be treated exactly as if they were in hospital, except they're thousands of feet up in the air. Training like this is fantastically important for getting things right in a real emergency. And these guys have done such a good job that I basically completely forgot that we weren't in the air until I look out the window. Yep, that's definitely not Nepal. <laughs> <laughs>